Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we're going to talk about this puzzle here, which is called Cast Chain. It was developed and designed by Oscar van Deventer in the Netherlands and is manufactured by the company Hanayama as part of their Cast Puzzle series. As usual for the Hanayama Cast Puzzle series, this comes in some kind of a cool finishing. This time here, some kind of a vintage look, which looks really, really cool. And it gives you then also the nice high quality feel of these zinc um, casted Hanayama puzzle parts. The box of this puzzle looks like this and the difficulty rating here is the highest rating by Hanayama with 6 out of a maximum of 6. From my personal point of view it's rather a 4 out of a maximum of 5 of my personal scale so a 5 of 5 would be a little bit too hard but it's still a difficult puzzle. What's interesting here I think it's kind of a mistake is the delivery condition of this puzzle in the box looks different from the picture back here. I can just show you a picture, a random picture out of a shop and you can see that the number one and number three here is just uh, flipped. Yeah, So I'm not sure what's the reason for this. If um, Oscar von Deventer um, is able to see this video, I would be interested to know, Oscar, what is the actually the intended um, correct way to assemble it? Is it the one shown here on the rear side of the box? Or is it the one that um, the puzzle comes in the box? Okay, um, Would be interesting to know because today I'm referring here now to the same condition as on the box. Okay, So it means if you compare it here, it's the same, the parts are in the same condition as on the box back here and I will disassemble them and bring them back in the same condition. I'm I'm um, talking about this detail because there are many many ways you can assemble these puzzles in different condition, a different orientation of the parts at the end. From my point of view if you not end up in the same exactly the same condition as in the beginning um, your solution can be considered to be wrong. Therefore I will show it um, to you in detail how it looks like in the beginning and bring it back exactly to the same um, position as it is right now. After the spoiler break, I'm going to show you how to disassemble it and how to reassemble it. Before I start showing you the disassembly and reassembly, maybe some words about the markings here. One, two and three. This is how I will also name the parts and they look like the marking here on a dice and visible from both sides okay usually when I start this assembly from this um, position I will hold the parts in this position here and flip it around by 180 degrees that these ejector pin marks here pointing upwards and then I will also flip this part by 180 degrees and the next step is already to place these two parts on top of each other flip them by or twist them by about 90 degrees and then I will be able as you can see here to shift the parts here through each other and now each part is connected to the two other parts. I will now continue to assemble number two from number one and for this I gonna move number two down here number three in this gap down here and I will continue twisting number two until I can remove it from number one. And what I did now is I actually flipped positions of two, part number two and three. So the initial um, order was one, two, three. Now it's one, three and two. So we are on the right way to the solution. Now the trick or the next step is already to con disconnect part number two from part number three. And this is only possible because we are now in the position where we can use this notch down here in part number one and place it down here in part number three in this gap okay and this will align here the two surfaces to each other and it will enable us to make a this move here with part number two where we can take out the um, part number two from part number three okay so we can just if we align it properly we can just twist it out and disconnect it here from part number three. And afterwards it's also easy to remove number one from number three. So this is basically the solution. As I mentioned in the beginning, don't be fooled here by the low number of moves. It's only four 
let's say four general moves or steps to solve it but um, as I said you can do a lot of mistakes you can move the puzzle uh, the parts in the wrong orientation to each other and um, this already gives you a completely different result and uh, most of the times you will end up in a one way also during assembly it's even more difficult because you need to be, uh, have the parts exactly in the correct orientation to end up with the correct solution and as soon as the solution for example if the parts are connected and the number three is over here instead of over here you can be or consider that the solution is wrong because you need to end up in the exactly same position of each part as you started with okay so for the reassembly i start usually with piece number one here and also with the number three and i will connect them just like this okay so easy move and then i will place the notch again here in this corner to align them or to, to line them up here to create some more free space for part number two which i usually flip around with the ejector pin marks upwards and then i will connect here the part number two and three like this now it, there comes a tricky move and um, I remember it um, the easiest way. I take part number two down here and move it from the rear side now. Yeah, from the rear side, important move through part number one. Okay, very, very cool move. And that's it basically already. Now I can take part number three. I flip it over here while I get part number two down here in the edge. And I can disconnect part number one and three. And the ones of you who noticed um, the position now to disconnect number one and three is different from the beginning. And this reason is I just can, it's more easy for me to remember this way as the way I disassembled it, okay? And now we are back in the initial condition, as you can see. Same condition here as on the box on the rear side. So puzzle is solved and yeah, it would, I'm, I'm still curious about which is the right solution or the intended solution or if it doesn't matter. Maybe you know, leave your opinion down in the comments. And if you like this episode as usual, just hit the like button, comment below and also check my Facebook and Instagram channel for more information about puzzles. Until next time, keep on puzzling.